Hello friends of the Northern Entertainment and welcome to another episode of Fact Cheats Friday. Yeah, yesterday if you were in the stream, I was wondering if we're gonna get fact cheats because by the time the stream ended, which was uh, 2.30 a.m. my time, there were still no fact cheats available. Lo and behold, while I was sound asleep, fact cheats arrived and so I'm a little bit behind, but let's get started. And we're gonna start our lineup off with a quad track tractor which comes in a variety of engines starting at 386 to 509 kilowatts or 529 all the way up to 692 horsepower, almost 700 horses that is quite impressive this tractor runs on the road 40 kilometers per hour or 24 miles per hour it will cost you 438,000 euros the fuel capacity is 1230 liters and the engine setup is of course what is variable here um, next up something that i kind of predicted and that is wilson trailers yes the wilson trailer pace setter a semi-trailer with 60,000 liters of and it holds our standard seeds which is wheat, barley, oats, canola, sunflowers, soybeans, corn, seeds and fertilizer. And the main color is here what is uh, a variable and it's going to cost you 80,000 euros. Now what I do want to point out here is uh, what I noticed in the game is we are here on the North American map. The reason that I can tell is because on the yellow double solids, that's a very North American thing. Um, and we can see here also this is a very nicely done grain elevator or at least the entrance to a grain elevator. And uh, yeah, just the way it's done, uh, this is an older grain elevator. You can see there's uh, there's tiles missing and windows are broken and stuff like that. So yeah, that's it's, it's a typical North American older grain elevator. That being said, let's get to the next fact sheet, which is the Vedderstedt Seedhawk XL toolbar 84 feet, which is a uh, Cedar implement. You need 471 kilowatts, respectively 640 horsepower to run it. It will uh, move at 18 kilometers per hour or 11 miles per hour work speed. It will cost you 290,000 euros with a working width of, yeah, surprise, surprise, uh, 25.6 meters or 84 feet. It will work in conjunction with a 980 air cart and it can seed wheat, barley, oats, canola, soybeans, radish and grass. And then we have the Vedderstedt Seedhawk 980 air cart, which is the seed tank going with the toolbar. It holds 34,500 liters. The wheel setup is what can be changed. It will cost you 185,000 euros and it holds seed and fertilizer and uh, the options on the wheels are standard and rear twins. Next up we have the Grimmer Veritron 470 Platinum Terra Track, which is a self-propelled potato harvester. It comes with an engine power of 320 kilowatts, 435 horsepower respectively and the road speed is 25 kilometers per hour or 15 miles per hour. The holding tank volume is 9,590 liters. It will cost you 496,000 euros. 600 liters is what the fuel tank holds and your working speed is 10 kilometers per hour or six miles per hour. And of course it will harvest potatoes. Now here's something for the modding community though, because the Veritron 470 comes also in a variety where you can harvest uh, tulips. That might be something to think about. Our last fact sheet for today is the Hardy Rubicon 9000 and of course Hardy Rubicon, um, we know those from the Platinum Edition. It is a self-propelled sprayer. It will come with an engine power of 272 kilowatts or 370 horsepower. It will run on the road 50 kilometers per hour, 31 miles per hour. Product tank holds 9000 liters and it will hold liquid fertilizer as well as wheat eggs and uh, it will cost you 489,000 euros the fuel tank holds 1,000 liters and a working speed of respectable 25 kilometers per hour or 15 miles per hour the working width is quite respectable at 48.5 meters or 160 feet so even the biggest fields will be made short process with uh, and as I said it holds liquid fertilizer or weed killer 
So that is it already for our fact sheet Friday for today. I am rather excited though for the clouds that I see in the background because uh, yeah, clouds, rendered clouds is something that we never had and that is one of the things that I'm excited for. Let me know what you are excited for in Farming Simulator 19 in the comments below. Until next time, this is the Northern Alex signing off. God bless.